మప్పులో తాగిన వాన తెలుగులుగా జానుకుంటూ ఎండి మప్పులో ఒదిగిన వెన్నెల తుణితలుగా తడుపుమంటూ ఎండు మప్పులో తాగిన వాన తెలుగులుగా జానుకుంటూ
India has a real sense of nationalism. From my childhood, I had been taught that the idolatry of nation is almost better than reverence for God and humanity. India is one of the oldest civilizations in the world, spanning a period of more than 4,000 years and witnessing the fusion of several customs and traditions which are reflective of rich culture and heritage of the country. The East, in fact, is attempting to take its history which is not the outcome of its own living. Japan, for example, thinks she is getting powerful through adopting Western methods, but exhausted her inheritance. Only borrowed weapons of civilization will remain to her. The great land of our nation, its bountiful nature, its diverse culture, and its spirituality inspired me to compose our national anthem, Jana Jana Mana Adinayaka Jayahe. I bow my head in respect and fondness to my motherland. Jay Hind. Adonis Lesage, Negi is an American activist who fought against apartheid. Noble laureate Martin Luther King Jr. is here in his bondage for India. Lakshman Kweva is called, I have a dream. Non-violence is more than simply agreeing that you won't physically attack your enemies. Mahatma Gandhi referred to this form of non-violence as Satyagraha, meaning truth force or love force. It reminds me of the biblical appeal of Jesus to love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. This is in the agreement with the Gandhian method of non-violence. It was one of the most potent weapons available to oppressed people in their struggle for freedom. During 1955-56, the bus system in Montgomery, Alabama was segregated. African Americans were forced to ride at the back of the bus. I was already familiar with peaceful civil disobedience and I liked Mahatma Gandhi's ideals. I put these ideals or principles to use. To protest, we organized a boycott. For over a year, African Americans refused to ride on Montgomery buses. The Supreme Court gave the decision in our favor. Our success meant that Christ showed us the way and Gandhi in India showed it could work. I salute to the great man called India that has produced great men as the Mahatma. Long live the spirit of India. The next person was in his admiration for India, the spiritual leader and the political head of Tibet. He bowed his head in heaven for his holiness, Dalai Lama, played by Shravan. Dear brothers and sisters, I have been living in exile since 1959 in India when the enemy of my people want to capture me and make me a tool of subjugation, I escape to India. No other country would accept, accept India. That is because I am not the first person or the last one to find a safe haven in this ancient land. India had provided shelter to humanity, escaping tyranny for more than two millennia. India is the spiritual master and Tibet its disciple. India may not be the first country to establish democracy, but the values have been in Indian society and culture since ancient times. In the turbulent modernity that the world is so eagerly embracing, only India can lead the world into spiritual redemption. No other countries would risk so much of this to let a small group of refugees to live freely as India. It's not something I am saying out of gratitude or a sense of debt, but the truth. India, thank you for extending this hand of compassion. Long live the land of spirituality. 
a famous German rock business proposed the theory of relativity. Others related him as he played the part of this famous Nobel laureate, Albert Einstein. I am here to express my deep insight and bonding that I had with India during 1924. The golden age of India when C. V. Raman won the Nobel Prize and Meghnad Saha considered the father of nuclear science. His work was on radiation in stars which was popular in those days. Though I was not directly associated with them, I helped Satyendranath Bose to publish his papers on elementary particles such as photon in German physics journal. It was a matter of great joy to be engaged with India's political class by exchanging postcards with Gandhi and Nehru on Satyagraha. My longest engagement was with Nobel laureate Rabindranath Tagore called him Rabbi. He brew for teacher during 1930. Today, scientists from India are engaging themselves with my ideas and formulating debates on what gravity means. I see this as a true nature of people and salute them for their rational thinking. The greatness of India is in the discovery of zero. We owe a lot to the Indians who taught us how to count without which no worthwhile scientific discovery could have been made. Glory to science and glory to this scientific nation. Pratilak's convincing in the role of Adam a politician of Myanmar and a champion of democracy. from Aung San Suu Kyi. Today I will share some of my memories of my early years in India. India is not just a neighboring country to me but something close to home. I spent my teen years in India when my mother was posted as an ambassador. As a student of politics in Delhi University, I was able to broaden my horizons in that sphere which would be the foundation on which I stand today. The final push for India's independence came from Burma which eventually led to liberation of India. It was the fiery speech given by Subhash Chandra Bose in 1944, Give me blood and I shall give you freedom that inspired thousands of Indians in Burma to join the Indian National Army. Subhash Chandra Bose was also a friend of my father, Aung San. Like Bose, my father was also the man behind my nation's liberation from colonial rule. India and Burma both received independence around at the same time. But I admire how India has been able to hold on to her own and make a mark in this world. This is something I want for my nation too. My years in India has brought me an ocean of knowledge that I stand by even today. Amongst the political turmoil in my home country, my time in India has laid the foundation of the person I am today. Long live the spirit of independence. Let us watch Pandana get into the shoes of Nelson Mandela. In the apartment, the revolutionary and statesman who served as the president of South Africa. <laughs> from jail after more than 27 years for leading the anti-apartheid movement in South Africa. Soon after my release, the government of India had honored me with Bharat Ratna, India's highest civilian honor. I bow to India for recognizing the men of substance from all around the world. I considered my visit to India 
as a pilgrimage. India is a land of ideals and values. I refer to Gandhiji as my role model and was inspired by him to lead South Africa's journey to independence and I referred sometimes as Gandhi of South Africa. The further Indians who studied with me law at Johannesburg are one way responsible for my career. They also shaped me as a charismatic leader. They are Ismail Mir, Jayan Singh, Ahmed Bulla and Ramlal Bulia. During my presidency, I developed strong relations with India in both political and apolitical terms. India deserves a place amongst the closest allies to the abolishment of apartheid, making South Africa undeniable and immeasurable. I would like to conclude, it is better to lead from behind and put others in front, especially when we celebrate victory when nice things occur. We take a front line when there is danger. Then people will appreciate our leadership. Long live India! From the hills of Masuri, there is a renowned Indian writer of British descent. Today, Sasha gets into the skin of Ruskin Mon, one of the most celebrated and loved authors of children's books in India. The song Book of India marks 70 years of his writing career. It begins like this. I'll sing you a song of India, son of the golden land. the song of Hindustan with the big cats roam and the peacocks dance. Thank you my dear. I will take on from here. I wrote this poem at the age of 16 when I was leaving India on the ship. I stayed in England for four years. Gurudev Rabindranath Tagore's works convinced me to go to India and make a writing career. With a great difficulty I caught hold of the collected plays and poems of Rabindranath Tagore. I read them one by one, the post office, the red oleanders, etc. They brought me close to India. The first 20 years of my life, I groomed myself to be a good writer as I was a voracious reader. I had a lonely childhood, but I found solace in reading books. Even though my forefathers were British, Britain was not my real place. My heart belongs to India. I connected to the people trees, mango groves rather than the strawberry farms in Britain. I connected to the sleepy little towns all over India. The hot sunshine, muddy kennels, the pungent smell of marigold and hills. I love India because that's where I was born and grew up. I want to be reborn in India and nowhere else and be a writer. I am proud to be an Indian. She and Tuva Steve Jobs, the founder of Apple, is played by Anne who too believes in the tagline, Think Different. My experiential pragya, wisdom or cognitive understanding and concentration of mind was my greatest learning from India. This changed me into a visionary and more focused individual. During my visit, I understood that people of India did not use intellect as the western countries, but they were strong with their intuition. Intuition is more powerful than intellect for them. That has had a big impact on my work. I embraced Buddhism the intuition and experiential wisdom that was in Indian villages was far greater due to their capabilities for rational thinking. I admired Mahatma Gandhi all the more after my visit. Apple's Think Different campaign which featured his personal ideals was included in the year 1997. India managed to change my perspective towards the world. I understood the harsh truth of the world. This hardened my personality resulting to 
laying the foundation of apple incorporation the endeavor to shape apple into what it is today carry on the rich legacy of innovations and he gave the chitamra advocate of high court of andhra pradesh and member of bar council to adorn the stage could you please sir to different work like in Iran like administration research public and community service and I get that to request to the MSC online board to deliver the application just this is share that with my dear with Dhamma share that with my dear get it from me I get it So I am pressing that point from the beginning. My good friend, Mr. Jakasha, another good friend, September was our senior advocate on the Pradesh court. Ah, both on the Pradesh court are right. And uh, great owner of this institution, Sri Narasimha Rao. मेबर्स I would like to thank Justice Chakar for my dear for accepting for obliging my request to participate in these independent deliberations in the White House. So thank you very much. Justice Chakar for my dear has been working at the Raja Bhavan Golders, Bombay High Court, the Minister General Bombay is trusted to know. Yen you point it? India lo Bombay High Court is one of the oldest high courts and next thing it is contributed number of chief judges to uh I think it was it has got so many specialties so working there is not a small thing it's a great privilege and I need to tell this institution Sri Prakash Institute that first question and the second question is why I prefer This interaction of teachers and students with Chaitanya Nadia. 
No worry. Just answer these two questions. Let me understand why I give you the advice. Sri Prakash, how do you know? Is an education institution with imports value based education. It always aims at making children responsible and ideal citizens. And they all have to know that this actually Sri Prakash is known for organizing, always organizing knowledgeable, well thought out programs with intellectuals of highest institute and honesty like Shahzad the Manager. Sir, Sri Prakash teachers and students, they enjoy a very, very credible reputation of being highly disciplined, highly informed because of its management. Management has inherited its values as a principle from none other than owner of this institution, Narasimha Raghav. Most of you know about him. In fact, earlier, Narasimha Raghav was a class of contractor. And he was learning a lot, but he likes the practice of corruption in that field. So immediately, he just came out of the business and he started these institutions. Sir, we have mentioned this, sir. We have mentioned this, sir. We have mentioned this, sir. Sri Prakash, we have mentioned this, sir. 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 Next is another important thing is, why would they actually prefer this interaction of teachers and students in Zipi? My dear. Shasha to my dear. That I have to tell you. See, we have to tell you though, all the way that everyone and every day, we say that students should become great intellectuals, great scholars, they should become honest persons. But interesting thing is, that sounds like only ideas and theory. Abhali is allowed to Japan. Japan, unless they see an interaction with such people like Rakhaya Kanarigaru, how can they become intellectual? How can they become unscripted? When we told him, he said, 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 if you have a good person, you will have a good person. So, you will have a good person. And you will have a good person. If you have a good person, you will have a good person. They need our expectations. You will have a good person. 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 But, you will have a good person. You will have a good person. It was Independence Day. Because see, Independence Day is always the talk of physical freedom. But we never talk of freedom of mind. Then what I think, I think, you know, the people are the people that 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 are the not in the effort of the minority is concerned. Only one class in the society has got the freedom of mind. That is nothing but tradition. It doesn't mean that everyone would exercise that freedom. Every judge would be able to exercise. But whoever exercises that freedom, they become, they excel in that freedom. Like that's what I said. In the end of the day, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, we don't give any freedom. We decide everything. We decide what to study, how to study, when to study, where to study, everything is a decision. So our freedom of mind and quality, I don't care about it. Our freedom of mind and quality, judges, that's what we're going to say, judges who are supposed to say, they will understand what is that freedom of mind. We get to tell you, we have to tell you, everywhere, you take Gandhi. Gandhi, Gandhi, you can tell me, you can tell me, you can torture me. You can destroy your body, but you cannot influence the mind. Me rather rather than see this body, where the mind is not free. Me rather get here than this body. Then always our mind is healthy, not empty.
ఇలా ఎక్కడ చూసారు సిల్ మీట్లో చూస్తుంది సేమ్ అక్కడ కూడా అంటారు సో అందుకని ఆ ఫ్రీడమ్ ఆఫ్ మైండ్ అంతా కావాలంటే ఇలాంటి ప్రెక్టీస్ ఇస్తుంటే మాక్స్ కుడిషన్స్ ఇస్తుంటే వాళ్ళకి ఆ ఫ్రీడమ్ ఆఫ్ మైండ్ అంతా ఉంటుంది దైట్ మై రిక్వెస్ట్ ఈస్ మై రిక్వెస్ట్ ఆల్ పేరెంట్స్ ఈస్ యూ గివ్ దట్ ఫ్రీడమ్ టు మై చిల్డ్రన్ దట్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఎనీవో థ్యాంక్ యూ వెరీ మచ్ ఫర్ హ్యాంగింగ్ దిస్ వండర్ఫుల్ అబ్జెక్ట్ థ్యాంక్స్ ప్రొఫెసర్ former vice chancellor of Nandaya University. He is my friend, my guru and also my Leonardo Peter. He always propagates me out of his love. Then my dear friend and one of the most eminent advocates of AP High School, Sri Chitambaram. And my friend who is among you, Sri Mandana. Sojana Rangras Gadda. All the invitees, my gurus that have been sitting over there, the teachers, and the students like me, and all the supporting staff over here, my Independence Day greetings. Please let me know how many of you have seen Care of Ketchara Palam Could you raise? Most of you have seen. Now why on an independent day a jet from Bombay is talking about care of culture of Palama movie? <laughs> It's such a paradox. You know when it comes to a movie, you could see the top heroes movies getting released. There will be an advertisement onslaught. and all media every source will propagate watch this movie the best movie the best movie so much of action so much of expenditure so many countries they've shot all those things and you go with a lot of expectations and most of the times the movie doesn't meet the expectations it fails and a movie like care of culture problem nobody knew until it was released it had no expectations it succeeded so to be a successful speaker if you have a lot of introduction you are bound to disappoint <laughs> that's what my friend sri mujal and professor mujal and he has done he has given me a lot of introduction i'm not a star movie i am care of venture for one with very humble origins please accept it Well, this is a very solemn occasion and holding a constitutional office, I am supposed to interact with all of you about the importance of independence. It's something like you have a lot of air to breathe and you never think of air. only when we don't have it you gasp for breath as recently covid patients gasp for oxygen you come to know the value of the air so is the case with freedom we all have it maybe too much in abundance and we have to be on guard never to have it deprived that's the very purpose of any independence day celebration to remind ourselves of the importance of freedom true we have got our freedom from the foreign yoke or the ruler but what best form of liberation from slavery or bondage or control from others can we have other than freedom from our ignorance anything that helps us get rid of our ignorance gives us freedom that freedom of knowledge gives us future 
And don't you think this is the institution that is giving that freedom from ignorance? Don't you think this is the best independent institution for generations to come? I don't see a greater temple than a school or a college. So that's how we have to celebrate our independence by dedicating ourselves to the cause of learning. And this is the institution that's been in the forefront on that issue. I appreciate the management of that town. Now, I'll be addressing very short. I'll address on four aspects. One, let me talk about this institution. Next, about the institution makers that are the teachers. Then, the beneficiaries and the future of the nation, the students. Rasulullah Jaru, when I was practicing, I had a client. That client had a couple of education institutions. But he was a non-believer. He is no more. He was a non-believer. He never offered any namaste to God. One day I asked him, when he came to my office, curiously. No elderly person, I used to call him Anna. Anna, why don't you pray to God? He said, why should I pray? I don't commit any sin. I wanted some explanation from him. He said, I never tell a lie. And through my education institution, I've been educating many children. And what better purpose can any religion or any spirituality have than imparting knowledge, jnana? We call jnana the equivalence of moksha. That's why when I'm doing the God's work, why should I pray? You are doing God's work, all of you. All of you are doing God's work. Now let me talk about the teachings. We all believe that we have had so many Bharata Ratnas. This country has. Do you think that Bharata Ratnas have been born? No. Bharata Ratnas have not been born. They have been made. Made by whom? I will share a couple of examples. Who made Bharata Ratnas? You know, in uh, Rameshwaram, many years ago, in a school, a science teacher was imparting a lesson, teaching the students. Then, he told a lesson about aerodynamics. Right. And uh, when the teacher asked them, have you understood the lesson? All of them said yes. But one boy stood up and said, No, sir, I am not understood. He tried again. The boy said the same thing, I have not understood. So evening, he told all the students, Let's go to the beach. They went to the beach. There he showed them the seagulls, the birds and the sea, seagulls. How they are flying, how they are taking off, how they were landing, everything. Then he explained aerodynamics in that sense. And that boy grew up. He not only understood seagulls flight, not only understood the aerodynamics, but also the paths of missiles. The father of missile technology in India, Abdul Kalam. Our former president, he was made by teachers. You know, Ambedkar, his father, impoverished conditions, amazed by work, had about, I don't know exactly, four or eight children. He was the last among them. Wife died. The children were destitute. Nobody to support. He got him into admit. He got him admitted into a school where he was not allowed to touch water. Somebody had to pour it into his mouth or into his hands. Then one teacher took pity on this boy because he was brilliant. And to get the stigma out of it, he gave his surname to that man. 
that man, a teacher, was Ambedkar. That's how Bhimrao has become Bhimrao Ambedkar. And that teacher inspired him to be a nation builder. And he has become a Bharata Ratna. Again, a teacher made him. Let me tell you about one last example. A boy in Bombay wanted to learn cricket. So, he went to a coach. He started teaching that boy. One day the boy did not come for the coaching. The next day he came. The teacher asked him, What happened to you? He said, Sir, yesterday I had fever. The teacher slapped him, the coach rather, slapped him. He said, yesterday you were watching another cricket match of seniors of your college or school. Remember, don't ever watch somebody's performance. Let this whole nation watch your performance. And he took that lesson to heart and he became Sachin Tendulkar and he has become Bharata Ratna. Again, a teacher may. Madams and sirs, yours is the noblest profession. Yours is the noblest profession. Once in an ashram, a teacher, a guru started teaching all arts and the students were learning. Even the king's son was also there. So one day the king's son asked the teacher, Guru, Guruji, you are more skillful than my father and you have more knowledge than my father. Why haven't you become the king? Why is my father a king? And the Guru told him, when the occasion comes, I will tell you the reason. One day in the ashram, a cow went missing. So, he asked them to go and search for that one. It was already dark. Then the king's son asked, how could we go and search in the darkness? He said, no, no, I'll send a candle. What do you call? Uh, a fire uh, torch, right? A torch. So somebody was carrying the torch. These people, the students search for that and they locate. They brought it back to the ashram. The next day morning, Guru asked them, how did you find the cow, missing cow? They said, with the help of the torch. Then who carried the torch? They said, we didn't notice because the torch was in front. The person who carried was behind. He was in the darkness. And that is Guru. He said, the one who carried the torch is the Guru. That's why my pronouns to all of you, because you are the true nation builders. Let me come to myself, that is, the students. We have heard about any number of elocutions lecturing us on the importance of freedom, lecturing us on the importance of independence and every value we cherish. They say that you should be selfless and you should be serving the nation and everything. But I request all the students, my friends, to be absolutely selfish. Don't think of big, big ideals of serving the nation, reforming the country, sacrificing for the country. Please, let's not touch all of them. Simply be selfish. How could you contribute to the nation's building by being selfish? Let me tell you, I have started with Rajamandri, stayed with my friend last night, and I was coming over here. I saw a barren patch of land. I wanted the students to make it a forest. What will they do? Please, anybody answer. I have found a barren stretch of land with no tree at all. I want that to be made a forest. 
what will you do? Could anybody answer me please? Anybody can shout? You will plant trees. You sow the seeds. Then what comes? The trees come. I am talking of the forest. Madam, you are talking about seeds and plants. How come? Because all trees put together becomes a forest. All very successful selfish people coming together without any failure. That is the nation building. Right? Be selfish. Never accept defeat. Never accept to be second best. Earlier we all believed that somebody could be naturally talented. Somebody has special ability either to read, to write, to dominate in the examinations, to pass them, to secure a future, even to stand up and deliver. Now neuroscience has debunked the theory of intelligence. There is no such thing as inherent ability of a person. Every quality can be acquired. If you read a book like Malcolm Gladwell's, he has given a series of books and one of the books is Outliers. And that book debunks the theory of genius. And you know, when it comes to a very famous music composer from Germany, Beethoven, if I am correct in name. He was a cherry prodigy. By the age of 60 years, he composed music and he conducted orchestra. The whole world praised him as a cherry prodigy. He is really cherry prodigy. There is a thing. You know what happened? His father was a music teacher. When his boy was born, he initiated into music, 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 by the time he was 60 years old, he had practiced his violin for 3,000 others. We forgot his practice for 3,000 others. We only did it by the time he was 60 years old. That's what we thought of for us as a teacher. No. We did the practice that they did as a teacher. That's why we have come to the basis, the foundation of this institution. You have to come up with a legitimate teacher to help you. And you can spend time with the thoughts you have in your hand. And you will be a little bit of a You will be a nice time. You will be a little bit of So don't be accessible. 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 You are a company. In American schools, they teach the philosophy of company. You know what's not by company? If you are somebody, you are description test. You are a number of A person among the multitude. But you are now, after three years of people, as a unique privilege, so are you. You are as unique as you are now. That's why you also say you are not somebody, you are not that one. Believe in that. Please tell me one more call, since your first question, for the life and feeling and courage. Here in Ireland, with no clouds in the sky, you start counting all the stars. You don't want to start counting all the stars. How much time do you take to count all the stars that's visible to the naked eye? Is it days, months, years, centuries, or in process? What would be your answer, please? A little bit younger, please.
Namaste everyone. Honorable Chief Guest of the Day, Justice Dama Sashadar Nadiyar, our good friend Sri Mukhyal Nadiyar, Professor Mukhyal Nadiyar, and other guest of the day, High Court Advocate Chetam Parangaru, and revered judges and well-learned people, our founder, Narsimurawar, and all teachers, students, and stu viewers online. I, I should really thank Professor Muthyal Nayadigaru for, uh, for arranging such a wonderful program to all of us. In fact, we always have such wonderful speeches on our teacher's day, sir. We got our teacher's day just 20 days before. I think a wonderful speech to all of our teachers. I think whoever has really listened to it, it's like uh, fire being lit. Thank you very much, sir. I think and really the world belongs to people who work hard and I strongly believe that all of you are going to take this message forward and work towards the real freedom and as I know uh, sir is uh, running out of time I don't want to take much of your time sir um, I just wanted to uh, close with uh, one of our greatest poets he's also called as Abhinav Nanaya Raipal Subaravgaru లేదురా ఇటువంటి భూదేవి ఎందు లేదురా ఇటువంటి భూదేవి ఎందు లేరురా మన వంటి పౌరులు ఇంకెందరు ఇంకెందు సూర్యుని వెలుతురు సోకునందాక ఓడలు జెండాలు ఆడునందాక అందాక గల ఈ అనంత పూతలిని మన భూమి వంటి చల్లని తల్లి లేదు ఆల్ దట్ ఇస్ ట్రూ మన మన భూతలి వంటి తల్లి ఇంకెక్కడా లేదు ఒక్కటే మనం చేయాల్సింది ఏంటంటే ఇటువంటి పౌరులు ఇంకా ఇంకెక్కడా లేరు అని మనం ప్రూవ్ చేసేటట్టు మనం అసలు కోలగాలాలి ఐ థింక్ యూ షుడ్ ఆల్ స్ట్రైక్ ఫర్ దట్ అండ్ దట్ ఈస్ రియల్ ఫ్రీడమ్ థ్యాంక్ యూ వెరీ మచ్ సార్ థ్యాంక్స్ ఫర్ గ్రేసింగ్ అస్ అండ్ వి రియల్లీ చెరిష్ దిస్ ఇన్ అవర్ హిస్టరీ థ్యాంక్ యూ I am now on highly pleased to request today's chief guest, Honorable Justice Dham Shri Shadri Naidu to honor the prize winners. I request my friend Shriana to announce the prize winners. Now to the perfect for going to England of Shri Prakash Vijayani Kedal. Best student of all for Shri Prakash Vijayani Kedal, Patna Prata, 2019-2020, back by the team Harsha Bhavan.